Well, hey there folks, Bumbleborg here, coming at you with some good robot, which is only the latest robot-related sensation that's sweeping the nation. Now you might think that would actually be that one robot the dude made that looks like Scarlett Johansson and that I've been feverishly trying to purchase for myself, but you'd be wrong. It's, uh, it's this game. Um, <laughs> So, the developer was actually kind enough to give me a copy of this game pre-release to kind of check out and um, decide to share on my channel if I so chose. And uh, yeah, I've been playing a little bit of it and it seems like a pretty solid shmup. So I should mention this is going to be less a review just because I don't really do those and more just kind of showing off the, the game. And if you too are a shmup man, or woman, uh, <laughs> then I'll be sure to include all sorts of links in the video description for you to, uh, to check out. But in any case, let's get started. So like any shmup, you can, uh, you can shoot. <laughs> you got a primary and a secondary attack. And um... You know, what would a game be without hats? Every modern game, I think, needs hats, right? <laughs> so we have a bunch of hats we can choose from. First hat is free, thankfully, and uh, they are invincibility hats, which... Oh! Getting a new weapon to check out right off the bat. Um, yeah, the invincibility hats you just kind of grant you a free hit. You get... Ooh! <laughs> Man, I'm so good at this game, I can, I'm nailing them off screen! Uh, yeah, it, it just affords you a free hit, essentially. So, you get hit when you have it on, and just kinda... You just lose it. And then you will take damage after the fact. So I figured, you know, froggy, froggy head, old frog eyes. Probably the best way to start out. Oh man, I'm getting all kinds of weapon drops, which I guess makes sense. Um, whoops. Uh, you know, this being the uh, the first level and all, I imagine that's pretty standard. Just give you kind of like a a whole heap and helping of poss oh jeez, <laughs> yeah, possible weapons to choose from just to kind of give you a unique build. Oh yeah, and uh, missiles, I sort of showed that off there, but yeah, enemies who shoot missiles at, you can kind of shoot them out of the sky. And this is an upgrade station. Ah, oh, just short, okay. I, so you're like, one more, one or two more robots I can kill? Ooh, is this enough, I hope? Oh, beautiful, all right. Just had to go back and get the scrimps and scramps of that robot corpse, perfect. So I'm gonna upgrade shields first, just because I uh, I typically go with like shields and attack power. Um, the other stuff, not super necessary in my opinion. And here we have a couple paths to choose from. It's not super clear what they stand for, but I think I have a general understanding for some of them. Like this one is obviously if we want to get some hella robo bucks, some sweet cash money, and obviously we do. Ooh, oh, Pope Hat, yes! <laughs> okay, so I kind of wasted, um, sort of wasted that free hit there just because, uh, basically, you, you, you can only buy from a hat once. I will allow other robots to access this service to get. Oh! <laughs> Well, there we go. Yeah, I'd probably be unlocking more achievements, but I've uh, I've already kind of gotten a bunch already. And yeah, I mean, I, I need to leave some hats for the other poor robots out there. That's Pokebot is not one to to be selfish about uh, about hats. It's definitely not in line with with what the the Pope of all robots would do. Let me let me tell you. Trust me, I know a thing or two about Robo-Popes. I mean, really, just take a look at the one we have in the Vatican right now, right? <laughs> Wake up, sheeple! Jeez, that took a little longer than it should have. 
think I'll have to upgrade attack next. Oh, you son of a... How dare you strike the Robo-Pope? Oop, I got hit again. Didn't actually see what did that. I mean, them, obviously. I just didn't, didn't see the shot that did it. Oh, boy. R.I.P. Robo-Pope. You can't spell Robo-Pope without R.I.P. Well, actually, don't, uh, don't quote me on that. That's not right. <laughs> Not entirely accurate. If we could, um, if if everyone watching could all just have a, a nice, tasteful moment of silence for our our fallen friend Pope Botedict, Pope uh, B uh, Benabot, um, yeah, that'd be good. Thanks. Oh yeah, so. I should probably explain that. The cash money part of this area are these, like, question mark cubes, which, uh, as we just saw, can sometimes have enemies inside them. I think usually it's, it's probably just going to have the, the uh, uh, aforementioned robo bucks. Ooh, and warranty. Yes, please. This is um, it's basically like a, a respawn if you die, which I will definitely take. I think I'll be fine without getting the shield repair. I'll probably just upgrade my shields instead. Um, and there aren't really any weapons here that I'd want to buy, so I think I'm good. And to the right, we actually have a boss door, but I think I'd like to get some more upgrades first. Oh. And I could be another Pope, if I want. Oh, and I'm seeing these things actually have little descriptions. Hey. <laughs> Good boy. Some of them, uh, some of them more tortured with the, the, the punmanship than others. I think I'm gonna go with the crown, though. I think it's only, only fitting. Heavy lies the crown of being a failed Pope. Of letting the Robo Pope die. Oh, yeah, oh boy, that was fast. Well, <laughs> might as well not even bother. Just, you know, take the crown and throw it right in the garbage. I bet you guys are all thinking that old Bumble's not very good at shmups. But, really, I'm just trying to make it more thrilling for you guys. A more visceral and, and gut wrenching experience where I could get wiped out at any moment. So if you're looking for someone to blame for the loss of my crown, all you have to do is go find a mirror, again, then put it in front of me. Yeah, admittedly, I don't really play a lot of shmups. Um, although, would Nuclear Throne count? Because if it does, then yes, I do. <laughs> then never mind. Um, I feel like it would, right? Like, what genre would that be if not... I guess it'd be like a sort of a procedurally generated roguelike, sort of like this game. But yeah, I think it would have to be a shmup. Oh, perfect. Got enough for a couple. Look at how I'm gaming the system there. Got all my shields back without buying a shield repair. Hey, <laughs> so good at this game. So this machine is what we respawn from when uh, when we do end up using up our warranty. For a while I was like, what the heck is, is this? It's actually, um, it's not lit it, when you don't have the warranty. So I was like, what the heck is this for? I think I'm going to go with the dunce cap here just because I feel like a real dummy for the sorry state of my hat game up to this point. Or lack thereof, I guess I should say. Girl, brother, been demoted from dunce cap even. Well, <laughs> at least I'm getting a new weapon. I was jonesing for something with some longer range, something a little more accurate. So this will do quite nicely, I think. Machine gun, you know, is, is kind of fun to use. Like, I, I do enjoy its rate of fire, but um, there's one weapon that I... I really liked, which was the rivet gun, which is like a very slow rate of fire, but um, oh, you know, 
thought I could, thought I was gonna shoot the missile. Uh, um, yeah, it's just like a really fast, really strong shot. Uh, light him up. Oop, except uh, not then. Oop, oh, and uh, <laughs> not then either. Oop, oop. It's gonna so let me get out of the way this uh, this smoldering wreckage because it's gonna blow up. And um, I'm glad it does not hurt me because I sort of utterly failed <laughs> at doing this. I see you. Oh, whoops. <laughs> didn't, uh, you know, didn't help me hit him any, but I, you know, I saw him. He was there. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've, I've, uh, fought this boss before as well, and I did not take his health off nearly this quickly last time. I'm kicking his quality ass, insurance. Oh, wow, that's so fast. <laughs> Now that I'm complaining, mind. Um, yeah, he has this one attack that I, I didn't get to show off, actually, where I think when he gets to, like, a third health or, like, a quarter health, he'll start tunneling into the, the walls around you, and then he'll launch himself out from, like, a nearby location, and you just have to kind of be wary of that. And I do like the Soundwave Blaster that I just picked up, but I'm not going to keep it, just because it's not super practical. It's fun, though. Hmm. Do I dare take the Pope hat again? Do I dare open up my heart to risk, only to risk experiencing such loss just to have it wrenched out all over again? I think I have to, you know? It's, it's like they say, better to have loved your Pope headwear and lost than not at all. I was gonna say, where is this boss lurking? It's time to do some excommunicating. So this guy's shooting. Oh, is it actually hurting hurting him? Let me let me see. Oh yeah, <laughs> I think his own saw blades killed him. They definitely can hurt you. I've I've had this that type of weapon on a previous run. And that does have the risk of friendly fire, and I'm pretty sure his saw blade was the killing blow just then. Yeah, that was actually really fast. I think he was contributing a lot to that. With the, uh, you know, a not insignificant amount of the damage being dealt by his own hand. So, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah. Hmm. Leave it to uh, to having the word "na" in your uh, your flavor text. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Yeah, just um, yeah, it's funny. That's the word that caught my eye to actually notice that those things are down there. Uh, oh, wonder how many of those have been missing. That's too bad. Well, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I did. I hate to miss the the flavor text has actually been pretty funny so far, so I, uh, I hate to have missed out on some stuff. Just gotta ease in, don't hit the walls. <laughs> well, I'll have to pay more attention, I suppose. Especially if there are chivos on the line. I I had no idea. <laughs> I knew he was there and everything. Ah, I blew it. Uh, come on. It's right. It's ah, so close. Good robot. Don't do me like that. Don't tease me. No. Well, shoot. So I've got to make sure to look at all... All the war now, all the, the rich history of good robots. <laughs> oh, and oh, beautiful. They got uh, just the weapon I was looking for the rivet gun. Yeah, so this is uh, kind of a slow ish rate of fire, but it's like super accurate, which I'm kind of looking for. And I guess I'll uh, get 
to show off on this boss here. That flak weapon did grow on me, though. It was definitely better than I initially thought it was going to be. Gonna go with the Russian hat. Oh, oh never mind. I was gonna say, that. is that the boss? Is this a... Aren't you a little small for a boss? And uh, garbage supervisor, how did these guys... Wait, how did the developer... Yeah, oh, oh. Uh, there it goes. How did the developer find out what my nickname in high school was? Uh, good old brother. Yeah, too many rockets for me to shoot. Yeah. So this is the guy... This is as far as I've made it. I've, I've fought this guy before, and, uh, and he kind of kicked my quality ass insurance worm. If you if you get my meaning, he, he killed me real good. Is what I'm trying to say. Things seem to be going a little bit better. He kind of wiped me out instantly the the first time I tried it. I don't really know what how it went wrong so quickly, but this is. This is going a, a, a bit better. Seems like my primary isn't doing a ton. I think maybe I, I think I'm just not hitting him with my secondary enough. Ooh, ooh! <laughs> Guess I could only get so lucky. Oof. Yeah, I think that would probably be like the the real damage dealer would be hitting with my my secondary weapon. Pretty much got him on the ropes, and there we go. Ugh, and I didn't automatically wipe out the rest of his minions. So I gotta clean these clowns up. Yeah, fine. I guess I can try it out. I think I've tried that before, the twin rocket pod. Not a huge fan of the drop-off, but I figure might as well, uh, ooh, jeez. <laughs> Having more enemies right after the boss. That's a bit underhanded. Mm, pretty sneaky, sis. Oh, what's that? You thought you got rid of Pope Bud for good? Well, little did you know that popes are like hydras. You cut one down and you're getting two or three more of those suckers easily. It's gonna be... Alright, gonna say... I know there's a boss around here somewhere. Ooh. Uh, Pope Bot! <laughs> Let us pray for your death. So this is definitely new for me. I have not uh, had the pleasure of meeting Officer Buddy Pal before. I think things are going pretty well. Um, oof. I think it, it's sort of, <laughs> sort of hard to tell, but I think those gray blobby things around him are just like blocking my shots. They seem indestructible. Whoop. Oh, alright. And I couldn't even have destroyed those homing ones if I wanted. Oh, so it seems like it's uh, maybe just a stronger rivet gun? I'm really digging the Xenon Blaster, though. This has been really helping out. Just the fact that it bounces? Oof. Yes, please. I suppose it's only fitting that I go with the angel wings. That or the halo, really, given that uh, Officer Buddy Pal is now making arrests in robot heaven. I can only assume. Well, yep, yeah, and that's the only door, so that's gonna do it for this chapter. And more Chivos, no boy. Ooh, and this is really rocking. I'm really jamming out. Oh no, go back to the jamming. I'm sorry. Okay. Whoop, ooh, she's coming in hot. Ooh.
Yeah, I think that, uh, I can't remember the name, but that upgraded rivet gun might not have been the best type if I have all these, like, little enemies coming at me. Oops. Oh, boy. Is something, like, making these things spawn, or are there just, like, a ton? Oof. Oh, no. Ooh, mistakes were made. <laughs> I just gotta get to that hat machine, and I'll be golden. Alright, time to bring out the big guns. No more messing around. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of my foot up your ash. Ah, something like that. I'm, I'm really racking my brain for uh, some, like, uh, religious jokes here. <laughs> but I think I, uh, I, I think I have got this area on lockdown now, thankfully enough. I guess I don't have to kill all these enemies. It's really just a matter of, like, finding the exit, honestly. But it's, I, I kind of can't help myself. <laughs> it's alive, I gotta kill it! These robots are all heathens! So I've got to bank on a shield repair at this point, because I can't afford a shield upgrade yet. Oop. Oh boy! Well, he was uh, waiting in the wings there. It's a little uncool to be hiding in the terrain there, fella, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I get it. Okay, well, uh, don't need the shield repair anymore. Ooh, jeez. Gotta be a bit more cautious. Just can't go flying in all willy-nilly, apparently. Yeah, now it's a matter of finding another warranty. I've been doing pretty well, hadn't uh, needed it up until this point. So, I don't know how much it's gonna be. It was like, what, 2,000 last time? Right? Hopefully the price for that hasn't... No, I think that would be under like the weapons upgrades. So I was gonna say if that's like under the skills, then that's gonna be <laughs> like 10k to buy again. Which, uh, oof, too rich for my blood. Ah, and wouldn't you know it? Not the one I need. Well, not much I can do. Um, hmm. well, I don't know what this symbol represents, but I'll do it. Can I go with the froggy eyes, just since it's, uh, <laughs> like, the least expensive? And, you know, bring it all back. The hat that started us... Ooh, wow! <laughs> These guys are playing for keeps. <laughs> ah, jeez. Don't want to get stuck in that dead end, please. Ugh. Oh, well, nope, not going that way, that's that's for sure. Well, um, surprisingly didn't take a ton of damage just then, which is nice. Oh, jeez. All right, well, you know what, saw blade it is. Yeah, it might as well. Ew, what could have hurt this? Oh, oh no. Oh, oh I went back into it. <laughs> Damn it. Um, <laughs> all right, well, that was a pretty good run. That was the best I have done. I feel like I could do better. I just would need to play it a bit more safe. It's kind of playing it fast and loose towards the end there. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this showcase of Good Robot. And I like how I'm mm, top of the charts. I should mention, this is actually being recorded. What? Am I? Eh. This is being recorded uh, pre-release. So how am I? I should be rank one! Damn it! Yeah, so I guess this would be like all the other pre-release folks. Anyway, yeah, that's gonna do it for Good Robots. 
Like I said, I'll have links and uh, game info in the video description, so if this catches your fancy, you will uh, you'll know where to go. And as always, thanks for watching!